Hello, everyone. I'm Joanna Jubilis, news producer for Belmont Media Center's news program, Belmont Journal. On April 5th, 2022, Belmont's annual election took place. About 20% of Belmont's registered voters cast their ballots. There were four races for townwide positions, as well as races in seven precincts for town meeting. Roy Epstein, the incumbent, won the re-election to the select board seat. Julie LeMay, incumbent, won re-election to the Board of Health. Michael McCray and Steve Kulianski won the seats for the two-year light board position. Andy Mikado won the one-year seat in the race for the light board one-year position. Here is a recap of our election coverage at Town Hall on election night. I hope you enjoy and thank you for tuning in. Good evening, everyone. It is now officially 8 p.m. and we are here at Town Hall Live. The polls have officially closed. I'm with Steve Rosales, attorney Steve Rosales, who is a town meeting member since 1988 and a former select board member. He was select board member from 1995 to 1998. 95 to 98. And he ran in two races, so he's gonna give us some historic perspective. <laughs> but let's first talk about this year's election, what's happening right now. We, this is a historic election because we have three brand new positions on the ballot that people have to vote for. We do. We, have, board we have newly created elective offices. Right. And it's also a unique year because town meeting, we had four precincts that were re-precincted. And there were like, you had to vote for, you know, there were four precincts that had to vote for 36 town meeting members or up to 36 in their precinct. But what I'm really impressed with, Steve, is the number of people that stepped up and ran for town meeting. We have like 46 people running in precinct eight. We have races in every single precinct for town meeting except for uh, one of them, which I believe was precinct four. There's no race in that precinct. Um, but the other races that we have are, of course, select board, which is huge. We have Jeffrey Lasseter, a newcomer, running against incumbent Roy Epstein. And Political then, neophyte. Yeah. See how he does. And then we have um, Board of Health uh, race between Julie LeMay and um, she's an incumbent and the newcomer, newcomer Marina Atlas. And there are two light board races because there are three seats, but two of them are contested. One is the two-year seat, so there are three people running for the two-year seat, and then there are two people running for the one-year seat. Two for the three-year seat for two spots. Yep. Three for the two-year seat for two spots. Right. And one for the two for the one-year seat right. for one spot. Total of five. So what's happening now, Steve? And uh, by the way, everybody, Steve calls me Scoop Zuvalis. You want to tell everybody why you uh, call well, me that? Well, because uh, she, we, she's done this last year. I met her here, and she was the first to know we had COVID. Election results, you couldn't usually crowd in. You couldn't crowd into the clerk's office. There wasn't the usual <laughs> hustle bustle that we have uh, in the excitement of election night, that's mm -hmm. for sure, with everybody craning their necks to see what the results are and waiting. We all had to wait patiently, but somehow, Scoop Zubel is here. She scooped everybody. She knew the results. Uh, I don't know. She was clairvoyant. No. <laughs> Maybe she knows the lottery number. Powerball's two hundred and seventy-six million. It does take million. a lot of planning. What are the Powerball numbers? We could. It takes could a lot of planning ahead of time, Steve. <laughs> I had to talk to the, each of the campaigns and say, "Hey, when you know the results, can you meet me at town well, hall?" And they the, did, you know, which it's is the old-fashioned so nice. way. And that's what I'm hoping will happen tonight. So now here we are. We are waiting, Steve. We are just on the waiting game. I'm holding my cell phone for a reason because I have a lot of people that are hopefully going to be texting me results as they come in. Um, and of course, you'll get the results from the town clerk, but sometimes you can get them even before the town clerk. And these are all unofficial results. But you know, usually when there's a race, each campaign has people at each of the precincts getting getting the numbers. Of course. So that's well, what we're and, hoping know, is uh, the, happening. With cell phones and things, it's certainly technology has mm -hmm. sort of made things a little easier. Right. The old days, you had a lot of dimes and quarters and run to the payphone. <laughs> For those that don't know, this is Franklin Tucker. He is the Belmontonian. Uh, he is the editor, printer, he is the Belmontonian personified. And what we have here is uh, the mayor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, legend in my own mind, according to him. 
But uh, yeah, I've, I've just been able to live here a long time. Yeah. So, so you've been around, uh, obviously. I've been reporting you've been since, since 2010. You've been this 2010. This isn't your first rodeo or mm -hmm. election. So you, you've spent the day today, perhaps, visiting various polling places? What's, uh, what's six, the vibe? What are, you, <clears throat> it's what, are you, what are you thinking? What are well, your thoughts? Well, it's light. Uh, it's not one of the. Um, uh, it's not something like in a, a presidential election where we see maybe 800, 900,000 votes in a precinct. And in some of the bigger precincts, we would see, well, not bigger precincts, but more active precincts, like a precinct date, 11, even 1,200 people, which is extraordinary. Uh, but um, right now, it's pretty low. Um, I think one of the big precincts of what we did see some um, um, more action, I would say, is uh, Precinct 6, which is the firehouse on Trapello Road. We saw 700 people, around 615. Uh, 700 voters. Um, that's a pretty good number, and, that, and a lot of that has to, it is attributed to the number of people who came. Uh, they are a re-precincted um, uh, um, precinct, yep. so they received a, a, a good portion of a neighborhood that was very active in precinct uh, one. Well, yeah, the the, the uh, there's roughly what uh, roughly 1,700 voters in each precinct. That's so right. I think I looked at this number here when I got here a few minutes ago. It was like 670. Right. So very low. You're saying you know, so that's probably about the same. I don't know. I'm not. There's a reason I'm not an accountant. So 40 percent, 35 percent, 40 percent. But it's been a lot lower. That's true. It's been a lot lower. I mean. We have an active stuff. We have all those candidates, so that brings people out. So, uh, and we got a pretty hotly contested uh, selectman race, which pulls some people out. So, That's correct. Uh, but uh, it's still, um, you would have liked to see a little bit uh, more participation. I think that's something that uh, maybe the select board can look at. Maybe how do we can get more people to vote? Uh, maybe you know we, we didn't have absentee ballot. You know we didn't have um, drop boxes or anything like yeah, that. No early voting. In no this early election. voting in the election. So that really affected, it, I think. Well, you know, it's, it's early voting is uh, it, it, it giveth and it taketh away. <laughs> yeah, that's I right. I mean, sometimes there's the you know the October surprise, as they say. Yeah. Or the late late breaking news, they may <laughs> say that may or may not affect a vote. Uh, you know, that's that. It, it's good or bad, quite frankly. That's it's, right, and uh, it's always it's always a little. Uh, you know, you can look at a at a nationwide you know uh, election, and that's much different than a local. Locals are always a little light, you know, and um, well, especially if we're not voting any money. I'm going to hand the microphone oh. over to our select board, <laughs> current uh, select board member. Mark Palillo. Mark, come on in. Come on we're gonna in. we're gonna call That's Mark. Right. We're gonna call Mark the comeback you. kid. Here you go. Actually, Hello, Joanna. <laughs> How nice are to you? see you. I didn't hear the results. What are the results? Uh, well, the results are coming in thus far. Uh, Roy Epstein has carried five of the okay. precincts that have reported thus far. Right. I don't know the totals because I don't add them that quickly. No. I'm sure they're they're furiously dealing with it over here. But uh, so far, uh, Mr. Epstein has. Uh, uh, been victorious in the five, waiting okay. for three more so precincts, three one, more. six, and what was one, that, six. What was the vote count today? I heard it was low in the morning, and uh, yeah, I think it picked up in the afternoon. Okay, good. Uh, and we'll get it. It's uh, probably roughly, probably right. roughly around uh, forty percent. So, come tomorrow morning if it's traditional. When I did it, you swear the new newly elected right. selectman in tomorrow morning, ten o'clock, whatever it is. Eight thirty in the morning. Eight thirty in the morning. Okay. <laughs> Eight thirty in the morning. We're at his actual meeting at 8:30, Mr. And, Mr. It, and if you, uh, if the board carries on the sort of policy that they've been dealing, understanding it's a policy they've done, you stand ready to assume the reins of chairman of the select board. That's I almost correct. said board of selectmen, but I'm old. So that's but, okay. Uh, I understand that's, that. That's yeah, <laughs> I will assume you know, the chair uh, so, for one uh, year well, term. Good luck, I think, Thank or you condolences. So much I don't know which. Congratulations well, or looking, condolences. Well, I'm looking forward to it. It's a part, you know, you know, Steve, I mean, before uh, we established these rules, um, last I think the last term that I served, it was somewhat of a free-for-all. Oh, yeah, and I like think it. that we decide, what we decided was important is that each of us on the board, whomever it might be, have constituents in town that support us, so it should rotate. And so I think the procedures we put in place created a rotation system uh, whereby um, year one, when you're newly elected to the board or re-elected to the board, um, you serve as a member. Year two, you serve as the chair. And year three, you serve as the vice chair. I thought it should be the other way around, but we had somewhat of a disagreement. I think I thought year one should be a member, year two, you're a vice chair, and then year three, when you're 
um, you know, experience uh, your service chair. There are some points of view where that third year, when you want to run for re-election, being the chair, um, as you might know, is a, is a much busier time for you during that year. And so if you're running for re-election, it really takes away from uh, your opportunity to, to uh, campaign. So that's fine. So tomorrow, I'm, I'm assuming if we follow procedures if as, follow as been procedures, standard, I will be the new chair. You never of the know. Board. Politics is kind of crazy. No, I think we'll, I, I'll be the new chair. I did chair. it in the right. middle of the 90s. My my late mother referred to it as the golden age of Belmont politics. But uh, I right. never had the ability to be the chair. And during right. that time, I was probably pretty happy. I was a lot younger and I had thinner and yeah. I was thinner well, and had darker all, hair. Right. We, but, all, uh, we all were. It all worked pretty good. <laughs> the, golden worked pretty, the golden age. I like that. Right. Well, yeah. my mother's my mother. It's always the golden age. God bless her. I hope she voted for me. At God, least. Yeah, I, I'm sure she did. I don't know. A couple of times I spoke with her. I said, I don't know. Mrs. Rosales, you really going to vote for him again? <laughs> Hi, good evening. Uh, I am Meg Piccioni, uh, your assistant town clerk. Uh, I get to read the results this evening because our town clerk, Eleanor Brian Cushman, is on the ballot. So I get to do some of the official things she usually does. So these are unofficial town-wide results for our annual town election, April 5th, 2022. I'm going to read the town-wide offices only. The town meeting office or town meeting seats, those results will be on the website shortly. Uh, and printouts of all the results will be available in our office tomorrow morning. So uh, I'm reading in the order of the ballot. Um, moderator, Michael J. Widmer, 3344. Four. Write in votes, 2 4. Select board member, Roy Epstein, 3138. Jeffrey D. Lassiter, 1530. Write in votes, 9. Town Clerk, Ellen O'Brien Cushman, 3578, write in votes, 9. Board of Assessors, Charles Laverty III, 3080, write in votes, 10. Board of Cemetery Commissioners, William J. Camelli, 3055, write in votes, 5. Board of Health, Julie LeMay, 2270 Marina Atlas 1454 Write in votes 8 Board of Library Trustees Mary Donahue Stearns 2887 Mark Carthy 2846 Write in votes 13 Municipal Light Board This is a new elected board for Belmont for the first time and there are three different offices that were on the ballot. So Municipal Light Board for three years, David Beavers, 2734, Travis Frank, 2724, write-in votes, five. Municipal Light Board for two years, Stephen Kleonsky, 2696, Michael McRae, 2615, Jeffrey Geibel, 1190, write in votes, three. Municipal Light Board for the one year seat, Andrew Machado, 20, I'm sorry, 2069, Christopher Morris, 1102, write in votes, three. School Committee, Amy Checkaway, 2913 and Jeffrey Liberty 2715. Uh, those are all the results we're reading here this evening. I want to thank everyone. Uh, a lot of people work very hard to get the election to come off smoothly. I want to congratulate everyone that ran and uh, we look forward uh, to a fruitful year. Thank you very much. Um, Roy, Roy, what brings you here tonight? I don't know. Uh, I was Speak told to come the down, mic. so here I came. <laughs> Well, I, I think I owe you some congratulations because based on the unofficial results for all eight precincts, it looks like you have won back your select board seat. Yes, as Steve Rosali says, that's good news and bad news. <laughs> how but do you feel, really? How do you feel? I, I'm very gratified because we, we were prepared to run a campaign. We didn't know that we would have to, but we were prepared to if necessary, and we ran the campaign that we wanted to run. 
and I'm very gratified that so many voters agreed with us. Now, since you are a numbers guy, um, have you done the analysis? Um, do you know, like, by how much you won each of the precincts? No, I, it was roughly two to one. But, roughly two uh, to one? I ran out of the house before we had time to add it up. A any idea, like, what, because I, I also haven't had a chance, but ha what precinct maybe you got the most votes from, or? There was a huge run up in six. Is um, that your, yes, yeah, your home precinct, Yes, right? and I also, six is a little bit different now because of the reallocation that a large part of what had been won before is now part of six and uh, it just all fell my way. So what do you think this says? What do you think this says about um, you know what the people of Belmont who voted today want? Well I think it's what I've been saying all along that uh, the town faces significant challenges and they're looking for somebody with a experience but B, also a willingness to kind of talk to everybody. You know, I, I always say that Belmont, for a small town, has an extraordinary range of opinions. And you know, the challenge for the select board in, in every town-wide position is to try to find a way to pull everybody together. And I hope I can be that person, and the voters have trusted me with that, and I'm very humbled. But I, I This is Jeffrey Lasseter, everybody. Uh, and he's going to... Okay, Jeffrey. Jeffrey, you are on speaker, and I'm going to have you uh, address Roy, who is standing right next to me. So, Jeffrey, you are on. Okay, uh, I hope you can hear me. Just want to say congratulations to Roy, and I know he's worked hard in the past, and I'm sure he's planning on working hard in the future. So I wish him all the best, and in doing what you know we can, everyone's doing the best they can for Belmont. So congratulations on the race and the uh, victory. I'm really, you know, I'm, I'm hoping and I'm very positive that they'll get a lot of good things done. Uh, thank you, Jeff. You know, I told Joanna at the beginning of this race that I thought the town is always better served in a competitive election, and this was competitive. And I, I thank you for that. It was a good contest. And uh, I'm, I'm glad it's over, frankly, but I, I thank you for running and making it a race because it's better for the people. Yeah. Well, I appreciate that, Roy. Like I said, uh, you know, best of luck with all the projects that are coming up. Okay. Thank you, Jeff. Right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you, Roy. Thank you. Thank so, you, Joanna. So, Jeff, I'm going to have you now address uh, just the uh, viewers that are watching. You can hand that over to um, Steve. 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 You can find him. Uh, oh, actually, no, wait. Right, I'll find Steve. Do oh, you want to put, just put it on the stand? you want to have him put him on the stand? Okay, so, Jeffrey, I am ready for you. Uh, everybody, this is Jeffrey Lasseter, who's the newcomer that was running for select board, and he couldn't be here today, but I have him on speakerphone, and you are now talking to everybody who's watching at home. Go ahead, Jeff. Okay, great. Hey, listen, Belmont, you know, democracy is a wonderful thing, and it's the greatest of all types of government. I think we can all agree to that. So thanks to everybody that participated and got out there and voted. And, you know, it's, it's always a wonderful and really humbling and gratifying experience to get to vote and be part of our great town and larger representative of our great nation and, every, you know, everything that we represent. So I just really am really happy that people got out and voted and i think that belmont you know we have a lot of good work to do so let's all stay involved now and in the future yeah you know, the more people involved the better so thanks again what's next for jeff lassiter uh well you know i don't stay uh in one place for very long man i'm always moving joanne i move quick so i like to tell people i wake up with 18 hours a day to try to get something done so i've got my second business going and i'm in the community and i'm going to keep working hard in belmont to apply myself you know in every position i can to uh you know just be a positive force multiplier so uh bill i'm sure that there'll be a lot of fun things that we can participate in going forward in the community well, thank you. Thank you, Jeff. I'm sorry you couldn't be here. And um, when you get back, maybe we can do an in-person interview. Definitely. Well, if all goes well, I'll be back up late tomorrow night or first thing Thursday morning. I'd love to talk to you in person, sure. And thanks again to all the people in Belmont who participated in the election. All right. I will. I will. Steve, nice to meet you. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. He looks so joyous, doesn't he? <laughs> I, I think I look tired. <laughs> so was this your first time? I asked the others, too. Is this your first uh, Quest for Town Ride uh, 
uh, elective office? It was my first run for townwide office, yes. Good for you. How, how was it? Was it all you thought it was? Good, bad, different? It was a wonderful opportunity to get out, meet people, talk to people about what they care about. Um, I'm not going to lie, it was a lot of work, um, but it's, it's a rewarding experience. Well, having done it and done for town right office, it takes a, uh, a special person to be able to do it. So thank you and all the candidates for putting yourselves out there because, Absolutely. you know, especially in the day when I did it, we didn't have social media, we didn't have Twitter and tweets and, and uh, Facebook and all the other stuff and all the, the, the comments. We didn't have any of that stuff. Uh, we had plenty of uh, gossip and we had plenty of that stuff, but uh, it seems just a little bit, a little more difficult at times. But you have to have a little bit of tough skin at times and a little bit of uh, be able to take it. So, uh, but you survived and you, and you were victorious, so I wish you much luck. Uh, what do you look forward to when you get sworn in tomorrow or sometime real soon, next yeah. few days? What, the reason why I ran is this is the most effective way I can do community service for Belmont. Um, I've worked in this industry, this is my passion, and I look just forward to being able to provide um, effective community service for Belmont. Okay, very good. Well, I look forward to seeing that, and uh, I don't know when the first meeting is, because you're a brand new board. Nobody has held this seat. That's probably our Five first order of business. Five brand new seats. It's like right. the first selectman ever voted, at the very beginning, or whoever that may be. Right. Way before me. Right. But right. Uh, right. in any event, anything else you want to say to, uh, to the people? Thanks everybody for turning out tonight to vote. Thanks everybody uh, who helped facilitate this election process. None of this is possible without everybody out there who makes this all happen. So thank you to Belmont. Well, well said. Congratulations, my friend. Good luck, Godspeed. Thank you, sir, and good night. Good night. Go relax. <laughs> What is your experience like out there campaigning? Is this your first campaign in anything? First campaign in anything. What are your thoughts? Uh, you, I'm, you I'm humbled to be like a part it? of the Don't first like class. It? Yeah. Uh, it was great, honestly, especially today, um, standing out there with uh, community members, meeting folks, um, talking about things that are important to people in town. It was exciting. Um, I, uh, yeah, this is first first candidacy for anything. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, again, optimistic on the results, but uh, hope, hope, looking forward to working together well, with everybody. there you go. If, yeah. you're, if you're sworn in, if the results are as I predict, <laughs> and you're sworn in. Uh, your record is unimpeachable, so I'm... Your, what's, uh, uh, what do you hope to accomplish? What's, what's your sort of major agenda? You know, I think uh, there's a lot to tackle. I think that we, we have our hands full. Um, I don't want to... I, I want to focus on enjoying tonight and tomorrow to make sure... That's a very fair answer. Thank you very That's much. That's a very fair answer. Appreciate it. Congratulations. Good luck. Godspeed. Thank you. All thank right. You. Take care. Take and thank care. you to Belmont. Okay, give it back over there to uh, oh, okay. to Joanna. Well, now, okay, so now we're going to, um, thank you, Steve. You're welcome. Uh, <laughs> Who should I send in? We are going to have, we have the town um, clerk. Do we want to hear from the town well, clerk? Well, actually, she can't talk yet, oh, but, she can't but talk we yet? have the two um, winners based on the results we have so far. They look like they are the winners of the two year light board seat. Oh. So we have Michael McRae and. Steve Kleonski in the house, so I will go and get them. Would you oh, like to talk the, to here's, them? Here's one. Come and talk to Steve. Hi. Oh, <laughs> can't get your tongue, please. See, she invited me on here to say, "Gee, can you help me?" She didn't. She left out the part. She said she's going to run away. Yeah, leave she, me with she the. Left you leave alone. The, the, well, I guess me, that's I not, have no script. That, I'm very that, shy. That's I'm working a scary on it. Thing, anyway, Steve. I'm Steve. Nice to meet you. I, I'm Steve. Nice too. to see you. Nice to see you. So, this is your first campaign. I just met uh, Mr. Machado. It's his first campaign. This is your first, first elected town, campaign election. Well, aside from time meeting, which okay. I've been on for many, many years, okay. and it's my first time wide. So, uh, town wide seat. Absolutely. Yeah. Contested townwide seat. Yeah, it was. It was. The uh, candidates really, you know, they sent out materials. They had, they, did, everybody campaigned. Was it all you thought it would be? Better, worse? Uh, uh, different was, than a precinct. That's just your neighbors. Well, it, it is. It is very different than the town meeting. Um, no, I guess it's what I expected um, in a contested race with people, you know, having different views and going out there and trying to get votes so it was, well you actually uh, you, you did pretty well at it so that's at least yeah, from the results we've been reading you and uh, uh mike, mike mccray yeah mike mccray yeah, and you I sort of ran sort of as a 
as a, as a duo or? Well, I, we ran separately, but we've been on this uh, Light Board Advisory Committee mm -hmm. together for a number of years, and so we knew each other, and we knew that we were both very qualified for the job. So um, it was, we ran it on our own. No, was, that I understand. But, but, um, but, um, but Mike, you were off, Mike, you were often mentioned candidate. at least out on the street yes, as sort and, of uh, and, and there was a, there a was an duo. Or, there was an organization that endorsed both of us and sent out a flyer that n named both of us. So um, I understand how people work there. I do want to thank um, Jeff Geibel, I think that's how you pronounce his mm -hmm. name, for running his campaign and running for town wide office. As you know, they had always, that uh, it involves a lot of effort. <laughs> yeah. And, and, yeah, yes, uh, it does. And uh, sweat and toil. So uh, he should be congratulated. And the as well. excitement of the evening. So uh, there's a little adrenaline. You get a little rush, and you wait, yeah. you wait for you get a little tingly, and you look at the results and figure it out. But uh, the, your smile says it. So that's right. That's so good right. for you. I look forward to uh, hearing your agenda and when you get out there. And well, we've got a bunch of work to do, and uh, I'm sure with the, the group we've got now, we're going to dig in. And I'm going to put Julie LeMay on speakerphone, and um, I think we're going to hold the microphone like this. Julie, you there? I'm here. Hi, oh. Joanna. So congratulations. You have won your, you, you're continuing your service on the Board of Health. Oh, that's excellent. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you to all my supporters for, for getting the word word out. This last term was, you know, the pandemic was so unexpected and just so different than what I thought I signed up for. And, you know, I'm happy I could step up and be helpful in the past several years. And I really look forward in the next three years to trying to incorporate the, the feedback that I've received and hopefully will continue to receive from everybody in the community. So thank you. What, what, what would you say, um, why was it so important to you to continue for another three years? Uh, yeah, I think, I think we have a lot of work to do moving forward, uh, not only sort of getting back to the business of governing health and uh, disease in Belmont, but also trying to challenge to tackle challenging environmental health issues in the community, which I know is, is, is definitely a focus here. So I you know definitely plan to move in that direction in the next next three years. Um, Steve, the, the lights are going out. You think that's a hint? Yeah, isn't it Don Meredith said it you turn out the lights, the party's over. <laughs> Wasn't this fun? It was, especially when you, you, well, yes. I don't know how the viewers like it, but it was all right for me. What were you going to say, especially what? <laughs> especially, there was something you, you were going to say. Certain people would just wander away. <laughs> <laughs> but that's okay. That's okay. Uh, but there you go. An exciting time here in Belmont. I mean, you saw it. I mean, you can't get much more alive. This was fresh stuff right off the phone, hot off the press. Scoop Zuval is here, did it again. In person. And uh, then culminated and climaxed by the uh, Meg, uh, Meg, the assistant clerk, reading off the townwide. So we have finality. Uh, everything will be on the website. And uh, congratulations to all the candidates, both the winners and those that hopefully will try again. You put your effort out there, having done this for a long time. I've won some, I've lost some. Winning is better, but losing is a learning and humbling experience. But don't give up. That's the way it works. That's what this, it's record numbers of people. 46 people for 36 seats. I mean, it's unheard of. Past election, I bet if you looked, half the precincts couldn't even fill 12. And they had to have caucuses. So there's interest out there. I'm getting to be an old war horse as this gray head. There's plenty of young people. That's who's buying it. Get involved in the town. Belmont's a great place. Belmont's a great place. Anyway, there you go. Belmont election, April 2022. 2022. In the books. Put it in the books. That's right. Now we gear it up. Good luck and Godspeed to all the candidates. That's right. Have a good night. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in. Be well.